Hello everyone and welcome to this new and exciting session in which we are going to see how we'll move from a TensorFlow model which occupies one gigabyte of space to an Onyx quantized model occupying just 83 megabytes. At this point, we now understand the concept of quantization and we are going to see how to apply or implement quantization, specifically dynamic quantization, to make use of our model even more efficiently. Before we move on, we should also note here that the TF size, TF size is um, one gigabyte. It's about approximately one gigabyte. That's one thousand megabytes while the onyx size is 328 megabytes so onyx size 328 megabytes now we're going to look at the onyx onyx quantized let's just copy this so we have the onyx quantized cpu onyx quantized cpu which we shall get shortly the onyx quantized gpu and then we will also get the onyx quantized size so let's take this off for now and then get back here now here as you could see we've imported the onyx onyx runtime quantization we've already imported the onyx runtime so here we just go uh, importing this quantized dynamic and quantite then from here you see we have the two models that's the floating point and the quantized model now this year this model is what we had already so we'll get back and then copy that and then we'll call this one the vid quantized so that's it now all we need to do is we have this quantized dynamic which takes in this model takes in the quantized the, the path to the quantized model it's still an onyx model and then the weight type now here this weight type is an unsigned int so let's run this and see what we get we get an error this name isn't defined okay we should run this before running this one so that's it uh this should be fine this time around and we should be able to get this file right here this quantized onyx file Again, here yeah, you could check out the documentation on quantizing Onyx models. You see, we have this quantized Onyx model, we have an overview, and all of that. So let's get back here and check out our model. Oh, there we go. We have our vid quantized, and what we notice is we have 83 megabytes. So this means that we've gone from 1 gigabyte or 1000 megabyte to just 83 megabytes and now we could go ahead and check out the speed or the cpu speed so let's get back here or rather let's let's get back here um there we go we could copy this path let's copy this path and then we have this year we paste that out here and then this this one here this is encoder this this is cpu cpu execution provider that's fine everything looks fine and let's run this you see we get 0 0.39 that's practically 0 0.4 seconds per prediction and so here we have 0 0.4 seconds now let's let's check this out again um let's check this out again for the original onyx model so let's run this and check this out you see here we have 0 0.49 that's practically 0 0.5 so it means that this isn't exactly true this should be 0 0.5 so we we see that the quantized model uh, is faster and way much lighter than the onyx the original onyx and the tensorflow models but we have to be careful as quantization generally comes with a drop in the accuracy now we switch to a gpu and then test out our quantized model so right here 
we have this quantized model which we're going to run and then check out its latency here's what we get 0.27 let's say 0.3 and this shows that the quantized model doesn't benefit as much as the onyx model from the usage of the gpus now if you check out the documentation we'll see that there is quantizing uh, an onyx model and there's also quantizing on a gpu so the quantization on the gpu isn't as straightforward as that with the cpu as here we told that we will need a device that supports tensor core in 8 computation like the t4 or the a100 and they say here that older hardware would not benefit from quantization so if you want to proceed with quantizing or quantization with a gpu you can make use of this tensor rt execution provider and here they give the overall procedure to leverage this uh tensor rt execution provider so with that we're gonna get back here and the next thing we shall do is ensure that the quantization process hasn't led to too much drop in accuracy as when we quantize the model generally we may have drop in accuracy but our aim here is to be sure that this drop is minimal and so to do this we're going to evaluate our model so here yeah, basically we've defined this accuracy which takes uh, the model and then for a hundred we'll take a hundred elements a hundred elements in a validation data set where the validation data set has a batch size of one we are going to compare each time the output or the onyx prediction with the label so here we compare the label with the onyx prediction and if they are the same we increase the accuracy variable value here by one initially they are zero total accuracy is zero but the total is always increased and then the the accuracy is increased only when we have this two the same so uh, with this basically we implement this accuracy uh, method which now we take the two models that is the onyx the original onyx and the quantized onyx so here we have these providers to, to to make this run faster so we run this now you see here we have 90 percent for the original and then 89 percent for the quantized model the next thing we'll look at will be how to visualize onyx models using lutz rodas neutron app so you could get your neutron app and you you have this interface right here now we're going to open the model there we go it's loading and here's what we get you see we start with this transpose you could recall we had this transpose and then we moved on to this resizing then matrix multiplication and then the rest of the vit model right here so here is the vit model in this onyx format onyx quantized format scroll right to the end uh, right here and then towards this end you see we have this matrix multiplications for a linear layer and then we have this softmax you could also um, export as png so you could open this up in this png format right here so that's our model and that's it for the section where we've left from a one gigabyte model to an 83 megabyte model with just a 0.01 drop in accuracy.